I'm Jeanette Gray and I'm a Principal Lecturer in Physiotherapy and I lead the BSc Honours in Physiotherapy course at UCLAN. The programme, um, it's a three year full time programme or five years part time and it's a very strong practical focus to the programme. So in the first and second year you spend sort of nine hours a week of your practice, of your university time actually doing practical things, so developing physiotherapy skills and practising them on each other. And in the second and third year, you spend significant periods of time out in practice placements. So in total, all the 30 weeks of the course is spent out in the workplace being a physiotherapist. I think the practical skills is probably unique to the course. There's very few, even other healthcare professions don't have that same emphasis on practising their skills on each other before they go into the workplace. So that's quite unique. And the placements are probably the most unique part of the course. The fact that you're spending a third of your time out in the workplace is, um, is key in terms of employability. The, a first year student might be in the university around sort of 18 hours of contact a week and half of that time would be practical based. So you'll be actually developing practical skills on each other. Um, and then there are traditional other methods. So we, you might have three hours of lectures a week, perhaps six hours of seminars. Traditionally, the contact for the course is quite high, but that's tied in with making sure that people are ready to actually practice physiotherapy when they go out into the placement environment. They go out for the first time in February, in February of the first year, um, just for a short period where they go out and observe physiotherapists in practice. And then in the second and third year, they do periods of 12 and 16 weeks out in the workplace, working towards a third year student who'd be almost practicing independently and ready to move into that post graduation post. I think the mentoring is unique. The, the systems we have for early interaction between established students and those that are applying to physiotherapy, we offer a student who applies the opportunity to um, buddy up with somebody who's already on the programme to get questions asked. And our third year mentoring of second years is also a unique, a unique feature. Out on placement, mostly in the NHS. Um, we have full-time placements in some other settings as well. We've had placements in sports clubs, so we've got a long-standing relationship with Blackburn Rovers. We've had students on placement um, in rugby clubs and... Preston North End. Um, we work closely with colleagues in our sports therapy programme around providing placements. If they're working in a practice environment, they're working as part of a team of people delivering a service. So when they're out in the NHS, they are part of a team of people who might be delivering a certain service to a certain client group. Students who come into physiotherapy are pe students who like working with people. So they like that idea of being into an able to enable somebody to make the most out of their life. So maybe working with a very wide age range of people from young to very old, from um, you know, elite athletes to people in the last few weeks of life. So they like studying because it's very diverse. They enjoy the practical aspects. That's probably when students you ask students what is the best part of this course, they talk about the practice and they talk about the placements. Okay, well, we've got really good facilities here at UCLan, and it's one of the things that in evaluation students talk about a lot, and that's the fact that generally the university um, facilities are new, purpose-built to deliver some of the healthcare um, skills that students need to gather. So we've got access to um, um, a clinic facility where students actually begin to do their practice with real patients from as early as the fourth week of the first year and work with their tutors in a clinic, and that's quite unique. Um, we've got access to movement analysis facilities and practical skills space, which mimics a clinic environment for students to be able to develop those skills. And all students, when they arrive at the, on the course, will have a personal tutor um, that will be their personal tutor for the three years that they're on the course. When they go out into practice areas, so they're often off-site for six to eight weeks, they'll get a tutor from the university who visits them on-site to make sure that they are um, moving along well in the development of their skills. We've got our student liaison officer. Um, but one of the key things we do on the physio course is the students 
actually mentor a second year student will mentor a first year student from the moment they start on the course. Um, and we've promoted that this year through Facebook, so we've done a sort of e-mentoring type system before the student actually hit the campus. Um, following on from that, third year students in their final year as part of their professional practice development will mentor a second year student out in the NHS. So again, they're developing the key skills they need for employment, but to the benefit of students on the course. Well, their placement experience really develops their communication skills, and they're communicating with young, old people who've got communication difficulties themselves, so they really have very refined communication skills. They're used to working in teams, um, both within the on-campus and when they're out in placement, so their team working skills are usually extremely good. Um, modern health practice requires problem solving, so students have very good problem solving skills. And they're in the workplace being increasingly exposed to the use of technology to support um, care of patients in the NHS. So their, their IT skills are usually quite well honed as well. They also um, have an opportunity in their third year to go and study um, abroad. So we've got placements in Finland at the moment, and we're trying to develop placements in Spain, Greece and France. So students go and do practice experience abroad. If you go into employment as a physiotherapist, there is an expectation that you continue to learn and you will have to take part in both formal and informal ways of learning to be able to um, keep yourself on the physiotherapy register. So on a two yearly basis, you have to demonstrate that you are fit to keep your name on the register, which requires that you've done some updates of skills in that period of time. So that's required of everybody. And most of those continuing learnings will be f fulfilled within your, um, with, with your employer. But there are formal education opportunities through master's routes in allied health, through um, MPhil programmes, PhD studentships here at the university, as well as a professional doctorate programme, which is a taught PhD with a two-year taught and three-year part-time research component to it. I trained as a physiotherapist in the late 70s, got my, went into working in the NHS in the early 80s. I worked for eight, nine years in the NHS, um, really enjoyed working with students and saw students and, and a need to change education really in terms of making those people fit for the future because the NHS was changing very rapidly at that time, which is as it continues to do. Um, so that was why I took the road into, into education, rather than maybe staying in the NHS and taking a more management route up the sort of career ladder. Um, it's such a diverse profession. The, the people that you are working with come from such diverse backgrounds with such a variety of different needs and it really is a profession that gives you never, never two days where, you, where the same thing happens to you. Um, and I think that's it's the diversity, you know, that ability from, you know, working with young, old, the able-bodied, the disabled, um, you know, old ladies, people in the last few days of life, elite athletes, it's all there in physiotherapy. So there is, if you like people and you, you think health and wellbeing is important and you, then this programme gives you, will give you something that you can really get passionate about. Um, again, I think I, I can only talk here about what people say about studying at UCLan and we ask our students when they leave what the best things are about here and what, where we could improve things. And students talk particularly about UCLan, about the facilities being very up to date. Um, they talk about the small cohort of students they're a part of here which makes them feel um, very welcome from very early in the course. They will talk about the friendliness of the tutors and the support mechanisms that are here. They like Preston as a city because it's small but not, you know, not such a large place to be. Um, I think those are the key things.